Syndrome K, the rare malady that prevented death. In 1943, the Nazis had taken brutal control of Rome, Italy. As a result of the fall of Mussolini earlier in the summer, the Nazis were systematically emptying the Jewish ghettos and shipping the former residents in railroad boxcars to concentration camps and their deaths. Somehow, a few slipped away and took refuge in Fate Benefratelli Hospital on a tiny island in the middle of Rome's Tiber River, situated just across from one of the Jewish ghettos. And at the hospital, these refugees were fortunate to find a few allies. Allies with courage. Advocates that at the risk of their own lives and the lives of their own families were willing to help. Three Physicians. Three Physicians. Giovanni Borromeo and Andriano Osacini, who were sympathetic Catholics, and Vittorio Sacchi Erdati, who was, like the refugees they took in, Jewish. But Vittorio Sacchi Erdati was now hiding in plain sight behind an assumed name. When these bedraggled Jewish refugees were found by the doctors, they were quickly taken in and placed in an isolation ward to help keep them out of the view of the German soldiers, who were often present for their own treatment and also showed up looking for hiding Jews. The actual number of Italian Jews that were saved by these three is guessed to be between dozens and hundreds of people, men, women, and children, who were taking refuge in the hospital and planning for the next phase of their escape. But how could all these people moving through the hospital over about a year be kept from prying eyes and the probing questions of the Nazis? Well, an ingeniously wacky plan was quickly hatched. A duplicitous dance with Nazis. The Nazis demanded meticulous record keeping from Fate Benefratelli Hospital on who each patient was and why they were there. So, any individuals who were deemed to be enemies of the Reich or any loathsome Jews would not be able to feign illness or injury and hide in the hospital. They would be quickly identified and removed. These three doctors came up with a interesting form of, well, Let's just call it Nazi repellent. <laughs> what was it? The physicians uncovered, or invented, a rare, malignant, contagious, disfiguring, painful, and torturous malady. A new one, one that wasn't yet in the medical books. It was called Syndrome K. Poor pity on the unfortunate soul who was diagnosed with Syndrome K. Once identified, these were quickly moved into an isolation ward with other patients in the same condition, for there was nothing else to be done. Their fate was certain. They were not going to remain for very long, and clearly noted on the records of every one was the dreadful diagnosis, Syndrome K. Doctors and con artists? Well, of course, the Germans were curious. They wanted to see and question these patients. But upon learning this dangerously infectious, disfiguring, painful, and deadly disease, oh, and did I mention it was like super contagious? Well, the German inspectors decided they did not really want to risk any contact with the lethal syndrome K. Uh, those patients were going to be there for a short time anyway. Even the Jewish children were taught to hack and cough to make it more believable. Vittorio Sacciardotti stated in an interview in 2004 that the description of the disease was so terrifying 
that Nazis thought it was some kind of cancer or tuberculosis, and they fled like rabbits, not wanting to take any chances that they might become infected too. What was Syndrome K? It was a moniker, a code word, derived from the first letter, the last names of the two Nazis in charge of Rome at the time, Albert Kesslering, the military commander, and Herbert Kapler, the newly appointed police chief. But what it was in reality was an identifier on a chart that told the staff to quickly move those patients to the isolation ward, where only those three doctors were to risk any contact. And from there, these patients remained until each and every one had moved on to a better life. Or you could say more accurately, until they escaped the clutches of the fascists. The efforts of Fate Benefertelli Hospital to save Italian Jews successfully continued from mid-1943 into 1944, when the threat was finally over. So, here's the else. Syndrome K and its cheeky and courageous creators is just one of many stories of regular people who took huge risks to do the right thing during World War II. And there are honorable people silently taking the same kinds of risks in war-torn and violent places today. If called upon, could you be one of them? One of our hero physicians, Andreano Osacini, said, the lesson of my experience was that we have to act, not for the sake of self-interest, but for principles. Anything else is a shame. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Thanks so much for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please take a second to subscribe to the podcast and give us a like or make a comment. It makes a real difference, and we really appreciate it. Thanks.